Hey everyone, I'm Nicole Valencia from Rotogrinders.com, and this is a video tutorial of the DraftKings browser extensions that we offer. First of all, if you don't have these extensions, you can find them in the Chrome Web Store. Once you're in the store, search for Rotogrinders. You'll have this list. Rotogrinders DraftKings tools are the ones you want to install. So add them to Chrome and they'll be installed. When you go to the DraftKings website, you'll start to see them. Let's start in the lobby. In the lobby, we have site margin and overlay. The site margin calculates the dollar amount DraftKings collects for running each contest, and that is shown as a percentage of entry fees. It will show up in orange. The overlay is for guaranteed contest, and it displays the difference between the amount of buy-ins and the prize amount guaranteed by DraftKings. You can see it as a dollar amount or a percentage. If we close this and go down here, you'll see all the contests here with the margin and the overlay. The new thing we have in this release is when you click on a contest, you'll see numbers behind each username. So anybody that has multiple entries in a tournament, the number behind the M here is how many entries they actually have in that tournament. And you'll see as we go along, even if you view more entries, everybody that pops up, you can see how many entries anybody has at any time. That's it for the lobby. Let's go over into the My Contest page. So on the Contest page, if you click on a head-to-head -head now, we've got the Salary Calculator, which is also new. It's going to calculate the salary cap space remaining on an opponent's lineup. This is a head-to-head, -head, so you'll see this person has used David Johnson and John Brown so far, and the cap space left is $37,700. That number, of course, will go down as more people play, but it's a really nice way to see kind of who your opponent has left and how much money people spend on certain lineups. So if we look at a tournament lineup here, which I can pull up, the way you can see this in a tournament is you click this View Head-to-Head -head button here, and then you're going to see cap space zero for anybody else. You can go back to the list, find somebody else in here, view head to head. This person left $700. So that's a new feature, and that's how that one works. And the other thing we have is over in the My Lineups page. So if you click on this, you're going to see the pop up for player exposure. The player exposure calculates the percentage of your lineups on which you have used an athlete. And a recent change we made to it is now you can break that up by the contest start time. So contests with different starting times will have different player exposure numbers, even if you use the same player. The new, upcoming, and live lineups are calculated as separate totals. The Manage Options button, if you don't know what that does, that takes you to the Chrome Options page. And that's where you can turn different extension options on and off as you please and just save them. So let's turn player exposure back on. But if we turn off the margin, for example, and just turn on overlay as a dollar amount, you can see that in the lobby. So anyway, if we save this and we go back, you'll see calculate player percentage owned by total entries or unique lineups. So we've got two live NBA lineups, so they're 50% unique lineups. It's not going to change much for that. In this NFL contest, of 40 entries here, 8 entries here, and 2 entries here that are live, these guys are showing up as 33%, but if I go over to total entries, you'll see those numbers jump up. So now Derek Carr is at 80%, and so is David Johns. If you switch somebody out, Steve Smith will automatically get updated now to 80% as well. So that's it for the extensions, guys. Hope you enjoy them. If you have any questions, send me a message on Rotor Grinders and I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.